Hey, how's everybody doing today? It's Crazy Gamer here, Crazy Gamer Models. We're going to look at this um, BF110E from Eddard. It is kit number 8203. And I believe I took a brief look at this earlier um, on the channel, maybe a couple weeks ago. But I want to take another look at it because this is the final piece for the four aircraft diorama that I have a guy that wants me to put them together for him and possibly paint. He may possibly paint. We'll see. He's a good friend of mine and he asked me to do it. And he paid for the kids. And he knows I like building stuff. So, But I, I just want to look at this again because we looked at the spruce, but the last of the extras he wanted to use came in and now we have all the pieces that we need to to do here. So we'll get that off of there. in the box boom here's what we got this time instead of going with Eddard stuff he went with somebody called quick boost at www.quickboost.net and this is a starboard engine for the bf 110 c slash e which we have and it's um part qb 48204 and it is the 148th scale recommended for Eddard and it is a resin engine for one of the sides because we're going to do one engine open on the um, on the aircraft I don't know if they make another engine or what his deal why he got one but this is what I got so we got white piece of card that is going to become a piece of paper to unload paint on filters excited about that and then we got uh looks like there's one two three four five parts here and the paper's gonna defeat me we got it okay so it has the kit part um we're gonna remove this section here on uh, appears to be both sides and then we're gonna Add the engine and then our cowling pieces and these one and two pieces that look like what appear to be braces. And this is designed for the starboard engine engine side only. So I'm not a hundred percent on my starboard and port side. But I'm gonna learn it. So here's what we got. Um these outer pieces here are um flash or dead this. And here's the cowling pieces. You can see how thin they are. Really, you can see the internal detail is fantastic. Um, and then you got some braces. Even the external detail has some beautiful rivets. That looks like they're going to match up with the um, Eddard kit. But we'll have to see. It seems like good resin. You know, resin is toxic, so make sure you use water or a mask or both or whatever safety precautions you deem to see fit just just use something and then here's what the engine looks like oh this appears to be one of them upside down engines like in the ML 10 MBF 109 if I'm not mistaken so I don't know let's see how much of this we got to remove here It doesn't look like much gets removed off of this. There's not a lot of gate on there. Maybe a little bit of gate on there. We'll have to see how it fits and see what has to be removed. So that is the starboard engine in resin. And then we have this here. QB48155 it is the BF110E exhaust in 148th scale. And uh, the, the BF110E has four, two engines. So why is there two different sets of exhaust? I would figure they would all be the same. 
So you, unless one goes on one side and one goes on the other side, but there's two different sets here. So let's look at the, and there's no instructions. So another paint on load cart. No instructions on these guys. So as you can see here, I'm gonna to try to move a light here, guys. Hold on one second. Try that. Now, as you can see here, on this part right here, this is straight, and then this side flares up like this. And there's some angle differences, and it's the same for this side. So you have this set is the same, and this set is the same. So I don't know. I don't know. Be honest with you, I don't know. Maybe they're different in the instructions. We're gonna take a look. Maybe he needed two sets of those. I'm not sure. Maybe we're just putting the resin on the one side that gets the engine. I don't know. I think I need to have an email conversation with my friend. Or call him at least and find out, hey man, what's going on? Watch the video. What's wrong? And then here we have gun barrels. Wow, that's some teeny tiny gun barrels. Looks like we got the five five gun barrels. And that is QB48143, the Mr. Chef BF110E gun barrels, 148 scale. Recommended the Edard kit, another cool piece of paper. And then it says replace gun barrels on kit parts G25, G63 and G78. So five parts, three parts to replace. Hopefully they're double E's. So that is the quick boost parts. And then we have here this is the NR BF 101 BF 110E 148 scale Edard upgrade kit here. I believe this is the interior detail here. But we're going we're gonna to open it up in here because people said they like it when I opened the Peggy's. Well, there's three pieces of photo etching here, guys. Let me get this. Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. All right, let's get the... Nice cardboard out. And let's look at this photo etch here. Here is the first one. Hopefully that is coming up. And it is some gorgeous dials and cockpit like things. And you know how much I love my photo etch cockpits. And some dials. And man, some tiny stuff in there. You see in these pieces right here? I don't know if you can see all. They are tiny. You guys thought that 1700 stuff was small. So that's the first piece of photo etch in that pack. And here is the second piece of photo etch. This I can tell right now is fins for the bombs. Not because I know what I'm doing. Because I saw it on the paper when I took it out. So. And then here is... Oh, that could be hangers for the the um the bombs, because this was a night fighter bomber kind of fighter thing. Um, wasn't hugely successful. It did have its issues, but the upside down engine just intrigues me. It really does. I mean, the engine's upside down, but I mean, maybe for them, they were like everybody else's engines were upside down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's how they were. Why are all these people putting upside down engines? You know, I'm not sure. So here's what we got. We got a scale detail kit for the Edard kit. Uh, looks like we got some cockpit instrument panels. Looks like we got uh, throttle levers, flaps levers, um, parts. For some, maybe possibly radios. I mean, they could be radios. 
So there's two of each. Could be radios. There's an instrument panel. So I believe this has a, a back seat for a gunner. Yeah, there's a gunner. There's a trigger on the on the gun. Different things like that. Wow, this has three guns on the top of the... Wow, that's insane. It's a lot of weapons. It's like a rear gun, too. And then we have some cockpit details for the canopies. Some wheel details. Yeah, resin wheels. That was weird. I didn't know resin wheels. Uh, this one's not going to be... Well, no, the wheels aren't going to be seen on this one, so... Because it's going to be crashed. So, it's just going to be fun to do. So, we got some bomb pieces. You know, something about heating up some plastic and making a die. And then using that piece for something. Okay. You guys see this? You heat up a piece of plastic. You shove it into this photo etch piece. It makes this mold and you cut that piece off. And then it has a question mark there. There you come. That's the last page. That's the last page right there. So, you make this, it's got a question mark on it, and you don't know where you put it. And it doesn't tell you where to put it. Well, if you guys know what to do on that, please, 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 please tell me. Because this is going to drive me nuts. I'm going to be researching this all day. There's my day right there. It's my whole day now. So, that's the photo etch pieces. Now we're going to take a closer look at the kit again, and we'll talk about what pieces aren't, are not going to be used. Peter went haywire for a second. Okay, so here we go. Here's the clear. Well, I have some paper here to show you how clear they are. Actually, let's do this. Let's bring you in here. Because the mat is lighter than the upper areas. So here's what the clears look like. Not a lot of distortion you can see there. These aren't really the best. These are tiny pieces. Look like some side windows. A gun sight, maybe. Just some tiny pieces. No. no we'll break pieces off. Get it back in the bag. Now, that's that one. Now we have the actual canopies. They were windscreens and I believe a bottom section for dropping bombs. I'm not sure. Uh, here is the canopies. They look, they look spiffy. They got all these little windows on them that are going to have to be masked off. I believe the kit comes with mask, so we're going to really hope so, right? <laughs> Let me tell you. No scratches on my kid. Was that a ejector pin? There is a mark right here on my canopy. I don't know if it's picked up. It's like a half circle that looks like an ejector pin. And there's one on this side, right here, that looks like an ejector pin. Wow, I wonder what that is. 
Huh, that's weird. If y'all watch my Yak Tiger builds, y'all know how I feel about the ejector pins. Alright. Here we go. I'll take a look here. We got... Uh, we got lots, a lot of little pieces. Let's go. I'm getting... I'm getting horror flashbacks of that special hobbies 134th scale. I'm telling you. Now here is this exhaust here. Let's put that exhaust down and let's come look at these pieces here. Now it looks like this piece right up here, put the blue behind it and see if that helps. That help? No, it does not help. Hold on one second, guys. All right, we're going to try this. See if this helps you see it better. This right here is the same shape as this back corner here. So I don't know if these all have to be popped off individually and glued on as these are, but that's going to be an adventure and we're going to check that out. So this is the little bits sprue, all the itsy bitsies. It is mighty large. I'll zoom out so you can see. I said, definitely set out, people. All right, so if you look at this sprue on my board, it is about f almost 15 inches by 8.5 inches. So 14.5 by 8.5 inches. So that's a pretty big um, sprue. And then we have an equally big sprue right here. Yep, same size with bombs and drop tanks and I'm not sure I'm not sure what some of this is but that's basically this sprue here it's not bad nicely molded nice details on the drop tank I haven't seen anything that made, that piece we would make for fun And then we have some smaller sprues here. We have this sprue here. See this I wonder if I did this. Did this bad over. There we go, that was more of a no lines in it. So okay, there's a wheel um, landing gear piece another landing gear piece oh, this is the one that's broken so I'll fix that on the sprue and when I do that I'll show you how to do that so there's the rear wheel it's in one piece seems not too bad on that this is that one and then we have another smaller sprue here uh, there's all the detail uh, I believe This section is what comes off on the starboard side right here. I'm not sure if this is starboard, but yeah, this this bow lower half comes off. Here's your two cockpit pieces where you could do the decal. Oh, that's weird. Exactly the same. I don't think it has two cockpits. Three. Oh, gee, it's got three. It's got three cockpits. They're all exactly the... Oh, my God. They have slightly different gauges on them. Oh, that's going to be a trip on which one to use. Wow. They are all slightly different. That is nuts. 
and I'm assuming this has photo etch in it. So here we have the the wings. We have some bulkheads. Uh, this looks like for some guns and for some guns. Different two gun, four gun. This must be must do a couple different variants of the BF one hundred and ten. Because I know there are some of these things we are not going to be using. Because there are like three or four of things. And we only need one. So we got two props. Um, these may be bomb doors here. I'm not sure. Nicely molded. This looks like the cockpit with no. Nope, there's the cockpit with no markings on it for the photo etch this must be a bulkhead right here or goes behind the cockpit maybe it's nice detail there so oh not two different it has two engines duh so propeller for each engine wow way to go crazy I am crazy. So here is the inside of the wings. Here is the outside. The detail is superb. Beautifully detailed, beautifully molded. I'm gonna take a pin wash real nice. All this detail in here is gorgeous. And all up in here. It's all very nice. There's a couple pieces on this wing sprue, as you should remember. There's a six and a five. So don't just cut your wings off and chuck it. There's two little pieces on there. Keep that in mind, people. I have a notorious habit when I think a sprue is empty, I get rid of it. So I, again, go back to the crazy. So let us see here. We have mask. Um, I really can't show you a mask because it's a mask. Okay, let's check out the photo etch that comes in the kit itself. So we saw the photo etch upgrades that were in the extras kit. Now let's take a look at these. This is your instrument panel. instrument panel right there which is beautiful as always for Eddard and extras and bips and boops and stuff for it seat belts and then not sure what that is so is that photo etch then the decals um, Steads, I don't like to take the decals out because I messed them up. I'm sorry, guys. I really do mess them up. I'll try to hold it where there's no glare and you can see them all. And then all the little stencils. A lot of little stencils. So, sorry about the decal thing, guys. So, here is... We have a little bit of history of the BF-110. Like I said, I've gone over this a little bit in my last review, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop through the changes in the where the new photo etch is gonna go. And as you can see, oh yeah, a lot of those parts, the bomb parts and the stuff aren't on this variant. It must be on the bomb variant. So it does have two bombs though. No drop tanks or anything. So, immediately I can see right here this is going to be replaced with a photo etch piece from the upgrade kit. This area here also, um, this is all the photo etch that comes with the kit. So, you got to really pay attention. I go through the book and I go through the photo etch instructions and I highlight everything that needs to be replaced. So, and then we have the back seat that doesn't get glued. Here is the guns. 
Where did the seal shards be glued up? Okay, so I guess these guns are not resin upgrades. Where's my, where's my gun sheet here? G78, G25, and G63. Well, this piece is G7, so this is not getting replaced with the gun the resin gun barrel, so that's not a thing on that. And that appears to be... Okay, all these radios and whatnot here, these are all getting photo etched fronts. And this is all your ammo drums, I would assume. And then we have well, I'm not quite sure what this is. A bunch of pieces going together, five of them on each side. Oh, they are they are drum magazines for his machine gun. Yeah, he has his own personal machine gun back there. We're shooting down things. Boom, boom, boom. So then we got some decal. I bet you that's replaced with photo etch. Fuselage is going together. Okay, here comes the guns that get replaced. G78 there. The G63 is there, and the G65 there. So these three guns in this... Oh, it's four guns. Is it four? Yeah, it is four guns. It's hard to tell, but there's four guns in this lower canopy, and they're all um, resin. And his G78 gun barrel that goes in the rear here that he shoots down that all that ammo is for is also a resin barrel. And then we have the... Here comes the wings, and then we have some engine hulls. We have to find out which one's starboard. And so we got right and left to figure that out. And we will do the alterations to make the engine exposed. And then we'll do the other one not exposed. Because that's what we have for options. So we have the wheels going on, which are going to be in the upright position. Wheels up. Then we have the exhaust going on the nacelles. They look like different exhausts. Uh, then we have canopies, decals, some PE going in here. Then we have all the masks going on. This is what the masks look like. So you can mask everything up. We have the bombs. We got photo etch for that. Then we have the mount for the bombs on the other teeth. And on the sides for the little bitty baby bombs. And then we come into the, the outlines. We got a 42, a 42. And, okay, we got Russia, France, February 42. So this one's in Finland, a 42. This one's Iraq, and 41. So I'm not sure what scheme he wants, but it's going to be really weathered and on the ground. And it's going to be like two, <coughs> the Spitfire and the BF-109 are going to be in the air over the wreckage of this. So it's probably going to be in France, because we'll see that's where it wrecked at. So we'll have to do some research and put this all together and make it more historical. So... That's it on this. I'm sorry it ran long, but I wanted to show you all the, the goodies for this and show you everything in detail and show you where some of the edits were going to be and show you all that gorgeous photo etch and that resin goodness. So that'll do it for this. For Crazy Gamers Models, I am the Crazy Gamer. You guys have a fantastic day. And thank you for the 75 subs, and the giveaway will be soon. Thank you.